back with another technique with um, acrylic paint. Today we're going to be using sponges. So it's called sponging. Um, any sponge would do. Um, you can also use those sponge that you uh, use for makeup. Those will be work. Those will work fine too. But I'm going to use this one for now. Okay. So the color that we'll be needing today is um, this kind of yellow orchid, and then a white, and also blue. We might also need some brown. So first of all, I'm gonna get these colors out. So I'm gonna start by doing the background. Okay, so I'm gonna pick some of um, this kind of yellow with the sponge, mix with the white a bit. So it'll be a bit lighter because it's going to be our background color. Okay, you don't need any water. My, my sponge is completely dry because um, the acrylic is already watery. So you can just go ahead and straight apply. So I've got the colors and I just keep applying. Okay. So you see, sponge gives us gives a really good texture. So it makes it look a bit more interesting. a lot of um, paint but that's okay just keep applying it doesn't have to be fully the same color all over there could be a bit of variation so I've used up my paint now so I'm going to need to grab some more I'm going to spread out the paint So now I've got the page, but that area, there's some areas where I want it to be a bit um, lighter, so I want to put more white. So let's say I want to have a horizon here, and we're going to put more white around here, and then just blend it in like that. Let's say I want it to be darker down here, right? So I'm going to put a bit more of this color around here. If you want it a bit darker, you can add a bit, you can add a bit of brown around here. Okay. Just finish with the white first. Then we'll go up here. sponge, dip into the brown, add some of this yellowish color, just blend it a bit more, and then just slowly tap it down here. See the background is now very colorful and has some really interesting textures here. Then, once it's slightly dry, we can add things on top, which we're gonna do today. Okay. So with this kind of yellowish background, I am going to create um, in the foreground something of a on in a contrasting color. So I'm gonna use this blue, and I'm gonna draw. Uh, maybe three trees in the foreground and they're gonna be blue so they're gonna have blue leaves so let's see how that turns out then of course uh, you can use other colors as, um, whatever colors you want I'm just gonna use yellow and blue because that's what I feel like today you can always use green and red um, orange brown any of those colors so now my background's okay. I think my background's good. So just put that put that sponge on the side. I remember last time we were using coffin buds for the trees. So this time you can do the same thing as well, but 
I'm actually going to use a brush this time. This is called Dry Brush. I'm just going to use this dry brush without touching any water. Dip into my paint and just dabbing into it. Okay, so the whole piece will have that interesting texture. So first of all, you want to um, kind of lightly sketch with your pencil where your um, where you want your trees to be. So make sure it's dry, or else you're gonna rip the page. Okay, so I'd say I want my tree. Mm. So let's say this is gonna be the ground. Very lightly, you don't have to see it. I mean, it doesn't have to be very visible, as long as you can see it. So it's gonna be my tree trunk around here, something like that, and then the branch. Okay, so go around like that. And the second one, I'm gonna have it a bit further back, so it's gonna be a bit shorter, like that. And then it's gonna be where the leaves are, and I'm gonna have another one here. Right here. Okay. I have another one here actually. Like that. Just about the roughly. Okay. So now we're gonna do the leaf now. Okay. So I'm gonna have get your blue up. Squeeze it out. Okay, that should be enough. That might be a bit too bright, but we'll see. We might want to add a bit of like a, some sort of black into it so it's a bit darker, but that's up to you. So now get your dry brush. I'll get something bigger, a bigger brush with like um, a bigger area on these brushes tip so you can easily dab into it. So I'm just going to go into your paint, the blue paint, and then slowly just dab into it. Just like that. Okay. It gives a very really rough um, surface and rough texture, which is what I'm going for here. Okay, this whole piece is going to be slightly rough. Okay. So here, yeah, this is probably my, my first tree already. Okay, and I'm going to move on to my second one, which is around here, right? That kind of background first and then kind of somehow goes through the tree that effect is nice so which way you want that tree to be a circular blob <laughs> further back here so it's gonna be a bit smaller like that and keep going back into it and around okay now see all the trees are kind of like gathered together so you can't see which tree leaves is which tree so that you can add shadows and light to this distinguish it so first we're gonna add some uh, black first be the shadows. So this brush. This brush. Okay. So you want to grab the blue, grab some black, and do a slightly darker shade of black, uh, blue. Down into where the shadows are going to be. If it's too bright still, add a bit more black. Light and shadow are very important in paintings and drawings because then you can show back and forth whatever is in the front and what is in the back okay so 
now the black is done so because there might be a bit more too much black then you can add some blue back on it so to hide some of the black here but not too much so that was a bit too much okay, like that yeah okay so now after that after the black you want to add light to have light like colors you need to have some white but not too much now your brush should be very pretty dirty right now so maybe wash it off a bit once you wash it your brush is gonna be wet right so make sure you wipe it dry okay. Again, you can go over with blue afterwards. You want to distinguish where you know bright and dark first. Okay, that's where it's gonna be. And I'm gonna add some bit more blue to cover up the bright colors. Yep. So the tree a bit bigger. There. So I'm gonna stop there for now. I might add a bit more afterwards. Depends. Okay. So these are trees. Okay, tree trunks, right? So the tree trunks, you can have a small brush. And then go into your brown, just like last time when we did the common buds with the cherry blossom tree. You want to get your brown. Exactly the same as how you did last time. Yeah, one more thing. Oh, it's not very balanced, right? This tree can be very rough. <laughs> okay, I always cover the edges down here, so don't worry about that here right now. So I'm gonna have one more tree trunk here. Then you go into the tree, that's up to you. I'm just gonna blow it around a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into my blue and cover up some of the branches. Come back to this brush. some of the branches, the trunk down here as well. So for that, I'll be using my swatch. Go back to this color. Okay, just uh, add a bit of brown, maybe too much is covered here. And then follow these down. 
Turn the brown, add a bit more of like the lighter yellow. If you want to add white, that's up to you too. I'm going to use that brownish color. And that too is a bit. If you think the spot is a bit too hard to control, you can always use a paintbrush. up there you can add more white to the some of the clouds maybe okay Do you think your piece is done and complete? Okay, so this is on the right piece. I'm gonna actually add a bit more details. So on the tree trunk, I'm actually gonna add a bit of white on the trunk, just a little bit. of that white and then blend it in right okay so that's the end of the piece hope you enjoy using your sponge um remember to wash the sponge after you use it and uh, so you can re you can always reuse it just make sure all the colors are kind of dried and um gone almost and then you can reuse it okay all right great i'll see you guys next time then